Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to change Lottie animation properties in runtime. Let me show first what I mean by Lottie runtime property changes. In this scenario, you can change any property of any part of any Lottie animation in runtime. You can change size, color, opacity, blur and many more things. So let's get started. So guys, I have already created a blank project. Let me include the Lottie dependency first. So let me create a Lottie animation here. So it will take a composition. Let me create this. I have already included a Lottie animation. So this is our lot animation. I will change some properties in this. Let me show you how we can do this. So you can see this. This is dynamic properties. I will use this. So you can see this is remember Lottie dynamic property. This is just a dynamic property. Here we have to mention what the property we want to change, where we want to change and uh, what should be the callback if any. I will not use any callback here right now. But I will use the value. So here I will use Lottie property dot stroke color. 
and the value will be let's say color dot red so i will change stroke color to red somewhere so here we have to use key path so our dynamic property is ready i will use this here so you can see the color of this part is changed you may be thinking about the key path so let me explain this a key path is used to target a specific content or a set of contents that will be updated a key path is specified by a list of strings that correspond to the hierarchy of after effects contents in the original animation let me show you in the downloaded animation so this is my downloaded animation this is just a json file but minified let me beautify it by reformatting so right now this is readable but the file is really large so finding something is very difficult let me guide you how you can find your interesting part first of all you have to find the layers the first layer is this then the correction then our interesting layer is lake front inside the lake front it has shapes inside the shapes you will find it first of all just mini collapse it so you will see the first shape is group 1 so first of all we find the lake front then group 1 then inside it there is three shapes three items here the first one is path 1 so we can try this way it may take little bit time to find your interesting part but this way you can find it after finding your interesting part you have to use this this way the parent will be first then the child then the sub child and so on now let me show you how you can use the blur inside remember lotty dynamic properties you can use multiple dynamic property so here we have to change to blur radius the key path will be same because we will change the blur in the same part and here we have to put the value let me put 50 and let's see so you can see this part is blurred now i will show you how to use the transform position
so here we have to use the callback one the property will be transform position Here I will mention the key path this way. I have already found the key path for this part, this head part. this will be your callback part here frame in info will be provided so what i will do is i will push this head towards the right side little bit let's see how we can do this First of all, we have to define a point to specify the position. So here you have the frame info. The frame info will provide many important things here. Like x, y, that means the current position, length and many things. So here we will use the x and y, that means the current default position and we will change it little bit. So you have to return a point. Let me just change the x value. Suppose 500. And let's see. So you can see the head part goes right side. So let me change. So you can change this in runtime. So guys, everything is fine, but finding the target key path is really a pain. So I have developed a separate application to find the key paths for you. Let me show this. First of all, you have to go to your interesting lottie animation. Click this. 
and collect the URL. and paste this in this application input field and press load this will fetch the animation and will show the corresponding key paths and also you can share these key paths via whatsapp email whatever so guys that's all about dynamic properties or changing the properties in runtime of lottie animation hope this video was helpful for you thanks for watching